This is Karen. Hello, everybody. I'm Shane. Today we're looking at a lesson called Closed Test. Why are smiles so rare in the history of art? And the vocabulary words are element. Element. Providing excellent service was a key element of the business's success. Task. Task. The judges were given the difficult task of choosing a winner. Me, 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 me. Image. Image. The dog stopped to look at its image in the mirror. Whoa. Grin. Grin. After hearing the good news, Bill had a big grin on his face.、Mm, mm. That's right. <laughs> so yeah, this is a really good question. Why are smiles so rare in the history of art? When we look at famous paintings, a lot of people in the paintings. You don't often see people smiling. Yeah, when we take pictures now, you're expected to smile in the picture, right? I like, always do. <laughs> yeah, but why back in the day? Well, if you really think about it, it, it took a long time、mm. to paint a painting. So if、right. someone was painting you, you might be sitting there for could, at least a few hours, right? So if you were supposed to hold your smile for a few hours, that would just be impossible. Impossible, right? Because it would look kind of awkward. And it would just look weird. You're trying to probably just capture what does this person look like normally,、hmm. and normally you just yeah maybe a small smile. Like even the Mona Lisa,、mm -hmm. it's famous for having a smile. That's right. But it's not like she's. Ding ding. It's not <laughs> like she's showing her teeth, right? It's just a very slight little. Smile.、Mm. Also, in history too, it was considered rude to smile. Really? Yeah. So it's completely、yeah. different nowadays. Yeah. Right. I, I like, like smiling. Me too. Yay! We look friendly when we smile, right? That's right. Do you like to smile? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Enjoy today's lesson, guys. Enjoy. <laughs> Why are smiles so rare in the history of art? If you're taking a selfie or group photo, the most important element is a smile. While everyone wants to look at ease in their pictures today, this wasn't always the case. Before cameras, painters had the task of preserving people's images. But why did those images seldom include big grins? Hi, I'm Jeff. Hi, I'm Hanny. Welcome to this month's closed test lesson. Today we'll be talking about A R T, art. art. We'll be asking and answering a specific question regarding art. art. Yep, the title of this month's closed test article is. Why are smiles so rare in the history of art? There you have it. Throughout the history of art, the subjects of portraits or paintings have rarely smiled. Right, but here's the question: Why? Why don't the subjects of portraits and paintings? Why don't they smile?、Hmm. What a good question. Okay. Let's get started. Good idea. The first sentence of today's lesson says, "If you're taking a selfie or group photo, the most important element is a smile." 好，我们在自拍或者是拍团体照的时候，大部分都会微笑。那这边补充一下 ，selfie 这个字就是指自拍照。Well, this is true. Nowadays. Most everyone smiles when taking selfies and other photos too. Throughout the history of art, though, smiling just wasn't done. Mm mm. Anyway, everyone, with that, we've now reached the first vocabulary word of the day: the noun element. Often, an element is a simple building block. From which other things can be made or constructed, like everything in the world is made up of elements. Yeah, in chemistry class, you might have seen the periodic table of elements. Here, though, the idea is simpler. Okay, here an element is just a part of something. It's a feature of something. Very simply, an element here 
is an important part of something. For example, providing excellent service was a key element of the business's success. Okay, everyone, get ready for more vocabulary. Before we take our first break, we will have covered all of today's vocabulary. Mm -hmm. For now, though, let's read on. The next sentence of our lesson says. Everyone wants to look at ease in their pictures today. This wasn't always the case. Your options are A, while, B, because, C, as long as, or D, whether. 好，题目的意思是空格。现今每个人都想在照片中看起来自在。情况并非总是如此。好，文中的 at ease， 它表示自在的、不拘束的。This wasn't always the case， 则是说情况并非总是如此。好，那这题是要考我们连接词。先来看选项 A。While 当连接词有三种语义，第一种是指虽然、尽管；第二种是指在什么什么的同时；那第三种是指然而、而用来连接两个对比的句子。好，那么 B because 它表示由于、因为 ，C as long as 表示只要。好，那么 D whether 是指无论、是否。好，那么我们题目前半句提到说，现在每个人都想要在照片里面看起来很自在。那后半句提到情况并非总是如此，有没有发现这前后两句呈现出语气的转折？所以这里用 while 来表达出尽管怎么样。但是怎么样，这样会比较适合哦。其他三个选项语义都不符合，那这题的正确答案要选 A. While. So the sentence should read: While everyone wants to look at ease in their pictures today, this wasn't always the case. Everyone, not long ago, Hanny mentioned that a lot of vocabulary would be coming up. She wasn't kidding. The next sentence of our lesson has two vocabulary words. It says, "Before cameras, painters had the task of preserving people's images in portraits." Anyways, in case you were wondering, "task" and "image" are the next two vocabulary words of the day. That's right. Task is the second vocabulary word of the day. A task. Is a piece of work that has been given to someone. A task is a job that must be done. For example, the judges were given the difficult task of choosing a winner.、Mm, there you go. By the way, the word task is a noun. Now let's move on to the third vocabulary word of the day, the noun image. So what is an image? An image is kind of like a picture. It's Something that looks like something else. An image can be a photograph, a painting, a portrait, a drawing, a reflection in a mirror, something that you see on a TV screen, something that you see on your computer, etc. You can even form images in your mind. Anyways, in art, anything that an artist makes. Like a photograph, or a portrait, or a painting, or a drawing, etc., etc. Anything like this that an artist makes, you can call this thing an image. Anything an artist makes in this situation that looks like something else, that thing is an image. For example, the dog stopped to look at its image in the mirror. Hmm, interesting. Okay, everyone, let's recap. Nowadays. Smiles are important when it comes to pictures like selfies, Instagram posts, etc. Long ago, though, people portrayed in paintings rarely smiled.、Mm、hmm. But again, why? Why did those images, those paintings, those portraits? Why did those images seldom include big grins? Good、hmm. question. Oh, by the way, speaking of grins, here we have the final vocabulary word of the day. Big surprise! The word is grin. A grin is a big smile, big a big toothy smile with your mouth wide open. Yeah, a grin is just a big smile, and usually when people grin or 
make a grin. They are smiling with that open mouth. For example, after hearing the good news, Bill had a big grin on his face. Well, all of this sounds good to me. Yes, talking about art has put a big grin on my face. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Anyway, with that, it is now time to take a break. But don't go away. We'll be back soon, and we'll start answering this question: Why are smiles so rare in the history of art? Why are smiles so rare in the history of art? We used to think that people rarely smiled in old paintings because they had bad teeth. As it turns out, having bad teeth was so common in the past that no one would have been self-conscious about them. Funnily enough, smiling was actually considered rude for much of recorded human history. Though that's not the issue here. Welcome back to this month's closed test lesson. This month's lesson asks the question: Why are smiles so rare in the history of art? Okay, let's start answering this question right now. For a long time, people believed that the subjects of portraits didn't smile because of their teeth. Long ago, people had bad teeth. Right, and we used to think that people rarely smiled in old paintings because they had bad teeth. They were missing teeth, or their teeth were broken off and black and gross.、Mm. Yeah.、Mm. Well, by the way, this sounds like it makes sense,、mm. but is it a complete explanation for why smiles are so rare in portraits? Not really.、Mm. You see. As it having bad teeth was so common in the past that no one would have been self-conscious about them. Your options are: A picks up, B turns out, C takes two, or D comes about. 题目的意思是空格。在过去，牙齿不好非常普遍，因此没有人会对此感到不自在。好 ，self-conscious 可以用来形容自觉的，也可以形容不自在的、局促不安的。那这题是一口我们片语动词。好，我们看到空格后面没有受词，所以推断空格里面要填入有不及物用法的片语动词。好，先来看选项 A。Pick up， 它当不及物用的时候，是指情况好转、改善，或者是有加速、增强的意思。B turn out， 它当不及物用的时候，可以指结果发现怎么样，原来是怎么样怎么样，常常用来指某件事的发展或是结果出乎意料。C take two， 它只能当及物动词用，后面要接名词或动名词来表达说喜欢上什么，开始从事什么。那这个选项它的文法跟意思都不符合，所以就不考虑喽。D come about， 它当不及物用的时候，是指发生、产生或是出现。好，课文前一句有说到说，我们以前常认为在古画当中，人们很少微笑，是因为他们牙齿不好，露齿笑可能会让他们觉得很难为情、很尴尬。可是呢，事情的发展却让人出乎意料。原来啊，以前人牙齿不好是很普遍的，所以没有人会觉得不自在。那这边空格应该要填入 turns out 会比较恰当，它可以带出令人出乎意料的结果或是发展，来表达结果发现怎么样，原来是怎么样怎么样。那其他选项意思都不符合，所以这题答案要选 B turns out. So the sentence should read. As it turns out, having bad teeth was so common in the past that no one would have been self-conscious about them. So there you have it. Bad teeth were really common long ago. Everybody had bad teeth, so no one was worried about how their teeth looked. Good teeth, nice teeth, well, these things just didn't exist. Teeth were teeth, and they were all bad. Right, and there's more. Get this: long ago, smiling was considered rude.、Ooh. This is a fact. But again, does this explain why people in portraits rarely smiled? No. Correct. And there's more on this point. The next sentence says, "Funnily enough, 
Smiling was considered rude for much of recorded human history, though that's not the issue here. Your options are A, exactly, B, rarely, C, correctly, or D, actually. 好，题目的意思是说来奇怪，在大多数人类历史记载中，微笑。空格被认为是无理的。好，虽然那不是这里要讨论的重点。好，我们来看文中这个 funnily enough， 就表示说令人惊讶的事，或是说来奇怪，所以它跟好笑是没有关系的哦。那这题是来考我们副词，先来看选项 A， exactly 是指精确的、确切的； B， rarely 它表示少见的或是难得； C， correctly 表示正确的； D。Actually 是指其实，实际上。好，根据课文，它是要表达在许多历史记载当中，微笑其实是被认为是没有礼貌的。这边我们用副词 actually 可以强调某件事实跟原先想的或是跟原先预期的有所不同，来表达其实怎么样，事实上实际上是怎么样怎么样。那其他三个选项语义都不符合，所以这题的答案要选 D actually。So the sentence should read. Funnily enough, smiling was actually considered rude for much of recorded human history, though that's not the issue here. So, what does this mean? It means that even though smiling was considered rude back then, this was still not the reason that people did not smile in portraits.、Mm, so, what was the reason then, Tammy? We're gonna answer that question soon. First, though, we have to take a break. Anyways, yes, it is indeed time to take another break. But don't go away. We'll be back soon. soon. Why are smiles so rare in the history of art? The real reason there are so few smiles in old paintings is simple: smiling for a long time is hard. Subjects had to sit without moving for hours at a time while a painter painted them. There are a few famous exceptions, though, such as the subject of the Mona Lisa. Her smile's rarity makes it that much more special. Welcome back. Let's start wrapping up our lesson. In this portion of our lesson, we'll be answering the question of the day. Why are smiles so rare in the history of art? Before the break, we learned that bad teeth and bad manners had nothing to do with the fact that people just don't smile in old paintings and portraits. Okay, those explanations they don't fully explain why these people didn't smile. In portraits, it wasn't the bad teeth, and it was not the bad manners. Right. Anyway, let's go ahead and answer the question put forth in the title of our lesson. Get this: the real reason there are so few smiles in old paintings is simple. Smiling for a long time is hard. By the way, that's the answer.、Mm -hmm. It's just that that's simple. simple. That's Yeah. Yes, it is. But still, this fully explains why smiles are almost nowhere to be found in old paintings or portraits. It's simple, but yeah, that answer covers everything. It fully explains everything. Amazing. Anyways, back in the day, let's learn some more. Back in the day, subjects had to sit, moving for hours at a time. While a painter painted them, your options are A. Despite, B. Without, C. Beyond, or D. Besides. 题目的意思是，在画家替他们作画时，他们得持续坐着，空格动好几个小时。好，句子里面这个 subject 在这边是指这个绘画的题材、绘画的对象。那么 at a time 接在一段时间之后，它是表达每次持续怎么样。所以我们文中用到 for hours at a time 就表示每次持续好几个小时。那这题是来考我们介系词。先来看选项 A， despite 当介系词表示尽管。B without 表示不或是没有。C beyond。
Beyond 表示超过或是在什么的另一边，像我们可以表达范围超过了。好，那么 D besides 它当介系词表示除了什么什么之外还有什么什么。好，那我们都知道被画的对象呢必须坐在那边不能动，所以课文是要表达绘画对象得坐在那边不能动好几个小时，因此呢要用 without moving 来表达不动。没有动。好，这边这个答案呢就要选 B without. So the sentence should read: Subjects had to sit without moving for hours at a time while a painter painted them. So there you have it. This is why people didn't smile in these paintings. They had to sit still for a really long time. It would have been impossible for someone sitting for such a long time. To smile, to smile forever, <laughs> for hours on end. Therefore, the people sitting for these paintings decided to not smile. This, this true. Keep this a neutral expression. Yeah, this is true. That being said, there are a few famous smiles in the history of art. Mm-hmm. There are a few famous, though, such as the subject of the Mona Lisa. Your options are A. Situations, B. Additions, C. Exceptions, or D. Motions. 题目的意思是，不过也有一些著名的空格，像是蒙娜丽莎画中的人物。我们看到空格前面有 a few， a few 是用来修饰可数名词。那我们看到四个选项都是复数型。好，那接着就是要从智慧的语义来判断喽。选项 A。Situations 表示情况、处境，常常用来指人的情况、处境。B additions 它当可数名词的时候是指增加的人事物。C exceptions 表示例外的人事物。D motions 它当可数名词是指手势、动作。好，根据课文，它应该是要表达还是有一些例外，某些知名画作里面的人是有微笑的，像是蒙娜丽莎画中的人物就有微笑嘛，所以用 exception 来表达例外会比较恰当。其他三个选项语义都不符合，这题的正确答案要选 C exceptions。So the sentence should read. There are a few famous exceptions, though, such as the subject of the Mona Lisa. So there you have it. Those smiles and old paintings are rare. There are some smiles to be had in old paintings and old portraits. One of which is super famous. Yes, the smile of the Mona Lisa is very, very famous. Right. Some think that her smile's rarity makes it that much more special. 由于以前画作里面都不笑，那像蒙娜丽莎这样的例外就更显得稀有、更特别了。好，文中用到 rarity, r a r i t y 这个字表示稀有或是罕见，是当名词用。There you have it. I couldn't have said it any better myself. <laughs> anyway, everyone, this month's closed test. Is now in the books. Right, but don't worry. We'll be back with another installment of the closed test next month. Hi, everybody. I'm Holly. Today, we're going to talk about how to use English to encourage others. Okay, let's look at today's content. First, you're going to do great. 第二 ，I know you can do it. 第三 ，Just try your best. 第四 ，I'm rooting for you. 第五 ，Good luck or best of luck. 第六 ，Come on. 第七 ，Wish me luck. 第八 ，I believe in you. 第九 ，Fingers crossed. 第十 ，I'm with you. 十一 ，Go for it. Okay, 今天我们有好多好多可以给人家加油的例子哦。那
可能第一种呢，就是遇到一个情况，就是今天你想要跟身边的人说，哎、欸，他可能要去考试啦，或是做一些什么准备啊，然后就是他很紧张之类，你就可以用就是前四句 ，You're going to do great， 你一定可以表现得很棒的，或者是 I know you can do it， 你一定办得到的，或者 Try your best， 尽力而为，或者 I'm rooting for you， 我会为你加油的。所、so, 以最后一个 I'm rooting for you， root 这个字啊。原本是树根的意思，那它在这边呢就不是那个意思哦，它就是为人家加油 ，root for somebody 的那个意思。那接下来呢，比如说你可能有一些朋友啊，在工作的时候可能要提案之类的，或者是他刚好要去参加一个非常重大比赛，那他可能就是你也想要就是跟他说，哎，祝你好运啊，或者是哎一定要加油，你就可以说 good luck 或者 best of luck。都是祝你好运的意思 ，OK？ 那接下来呢？可能 Come on， 这个呢情绪就会比较激烈一点哦。比如说你在看呃篮球赛好了，然后你突然就是诶、呃、看到你最喜欢的那个球员，然后他正要运球，要赶快投篮什么之类，你就可以跟他说：“哎、欸、，Come on，Let's go，Come on，Come on。”这个就是到时候情绪很激烈的时候就会大喊的这个字眼。好，接下来呢 ，Wish me luck，Wish me luck， 其实就跟 Good luck 有点像，可是这一次呢，他的对象就不。不是对别人，而是对自己。所以呢，呃，祝我好运吧！我等一下要上场，我等一下要去提案了。所以 ，wish me luck。OK。那接下来呢，有一些也是可以用在，比如说，啊、呃，你身边的人呐、啊，在做一些人生重大抉择之类的，比如说，哎。我可能要放弃这个工作，去做另外一个我梦想已久的工作。那这时候呢，你可能就会跟他说：“哦，我相信你，我对你有信心 ，I believe in you。”那你就放心去做吧，或者是 “fingers crossed”。这个呢 ，“fingers crossed” 就是他们呃，可能外国人他们会用这个。诶、欸，这个符号就是一样代表好运的意思哦，所以就是手指把它交叉在一起，一样就是代表好运。祝你一切顺利。那接下来呢 ？I'm with you, OK? I'm with you。其实字面上来说就是，哎、欸，我跟你同在嘛。可是其实它就是，哎、欸，我支持你，我心灵上给你我的 support 这样子。那最后一个呢 ？Go for it， 就是哎。欸不要 hold back， 就全力以赴去做吧，就是完全不要有任何其他的 worries， OK？ 所以今天我们学到这么多，可以鼓励其他的人，我们就要成为别人生命中的阳光，你说是不是啊？ OK， 好，我们今天就到这里哦，感谢你，下次见。